finish the Kikoko. Hi, Miss Mia. And I'm Ratso. Hey, Ratso. I hear you got a joke. Well, I just, I know I got to tell my joke quick. Yeah. For two reasons. One is it's an all-star show with tons of stars. So many things. You have to get to the guests quick. And so two, fast. I heard that this young man thinks he can tell better jokes than me, so we're going to find he out. He might be right. Okay. What's long, brown, and sticky? I don't know. What's long, brown, and, and sticky? sticky? A stick. Wow. Hey, so Andrew, I hear you have a joke for us too. What's your joke? Why did the pineapple cross the road? I don't know. Why, Why did, did the pineapple, pineapple cross, cross the, the road? road? Because he wanted some jello. <laughs> <laughs> that's so much better. Hey, that's a great joke, Andrew. That's so much better. A stick. A cow to be. Oh my gosh. Well, you want a brat, so that's, a, that's not a, well, actually, it's not that hard to do. But hey, we got to get started right away. We've got so many special guests today. Ratso, who do we have going on first? The Lord of the Yum Yum. Welcome to Chicago, the Lord of the Yum Yum. Yay! Oh! Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's get things started. <laughs> Venus Williams. You know what I'm talking about? Serena Williams. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lord of the Yum Yum, how about it? One more round of applause. Oh, my gosh. That was so cool. So, hey, tell us, uh, will you explain to the kids what this is you actually do? Well, Miss Mia, thank you very much for having me on today's program. Uh, this is a live loop-making device, which allows me to just simply check. Uh, I think we're off. Anyway. 
The way it works is you just say something in here and press this little button and then it's supposed to go say something in here and press this little button and go say something in here and press this little button and go and it just loops it over and over so you can think about composing and sounds and low and high and loop them all together and make something make something new. Wow, that's very creative. It shows the kids that you don't even really need an instrument to play to make cool music. So what do you think about when you're composing? Well, I think about how I'm uh, going to pay tribute and how I'm going to um, make fun of the artists that I uh, rip off slash uh, honor. That's great. Speaking of honoring, uh, I see that you've graced our population wow. with this really fancy DVD. Can yeah. you tell us about it? Well, it features a uh, half hour of live Yum Yum pieces. In addition to it, it also features <coughs> features uh, a couple of uh, other pieces that I had on my uh, master's degree recital. Really? Yeah. Isn't don't you have an element of a classical composition in your, or aren't you playing O2? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I uh, studied classical composition through the master's level at uh, Roosevelt University here in Chicago. That's great, but I, I remember you said something about uh, trying to promote that. Yeah, I like to honor and also make fun of the s classical standards, you know what I mean? The, the people that really made music what it is at its elevated and most dumb. I think that you are elevating and most dumb at the same time. That's a great combination. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lord of the Yum Yum. And hey, we've got some more special guests here on Sugar Go Go. Thanks Thank you, Lord of Yum Yum. Thanks for having me. Yay. Hello, Ratso here. What's your name? Yo, what's up? Hey, I'm DJ Spooky. Hi, DJ Spooky. What were you doing here tonight? Tonight, I was doing a DJ remix of a film called Birth of a Nation. And, uh, yeah, it's a wild film. Well, so, you can remix movies? I've heard of DJs remixing records. Yeah, you can do uh, mixes of anything and everything that's out there. Like, can you remix books? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, could you show us all your gear here and explain how you do that stuff? Sure. All right. Well, let's start with the data players. Uh, these are used to play files and sounds. Uh, normally, they would be called record players, but uh, those are a little bit old now. So um, for the new style and the digital stuff, um, you use digital, you know, sort of the equivalent of uh, computers for editing. And this is my laptop and I use this to edit the film. I use a laptop too. <laughs> and the computer allows me to sequence and send the signal, which I just unplugged everything, to these different monitors and I can 
coordinate all of the visual images. So you see all the videos on your computer screen and then you put them there? One, two, yeah, it's on four screens, yeah. And then it goes up to the giant movie screens? Yep. Wow, that's really cool. How did you get the idea to remix a movie? Oh, because these are very strange times and I wanted to try and figure out uh, kind of a story that would give people um, an idea of the past to think about the present. Cool. Now, what about kids that might want to think about remixing videos or just thinking about movies differently than they are? What would you suggest to the kids? Well, I would say, you know, the funnest thing you can do is start thinking about video culture in general and then think about maybe switching video games and uh, start from there. But it should be fun, you know? I had a good time doing this. Wow. Hey, would it be okay if we danced to one of your records on the show? Absolutely. All right, and then maybe if people videotape our show, they could remix themselves dancing to your record. That could be interesting. I would love to see that. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. And then if you saw it, then you could remix that remix. Yeah, if I have time. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you so much, DJ Spooky. You're awesome. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace. Let's dance. Next door was the first test of my test machine. I'm the UFO office. And I defuse. I defuse the Russian moon. I refuse the Russian president. He was too fat. Drinking too much vodka. When I see you say one time that you let them out present, was another chance and to buy the idea. That's right. We're going to do now something that has nothing. United Nations, you're going around correcting the wrong that others may do. When so I'm here with one of my favorite performers of all time. What's your name? I'm 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 the one and only legendary Stardust Cowboy. Wow! Are you a real cowboy? Sure, I got a bunkhouse just like yours. Are you really from outer space? Sure, just like you, buddy. Are you really a legend? Sure, just like you. If you get any closer to me, you won't be a legend. Ah! Hey. hey, how do you make <laughs> such wild records? Ronald Records? Wild Records! Wild Records? What about the wild records? How do you get so wild? We, we play them back, records backwards. Like, wow. you know, backward masking. I don't know that much about masks. No, uh, that's, that, that's tape. Oh. That's duck, duck tape. Put yeah. a duck's mouth like yours. That's a sticky situation. It sure is. You fall in the mud puddle. Hey, do you have any messages for the kids in Chicago? Yeah, stay indoors and keep warm. Wow. And I heard that your record was banned in outer space. Is that true? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put everybody to sleep. They went to sleep at the controls of the space shuttle. Holy goodness. Well, let me ask you one more question. Would it be okay if we danced to your record? Shoot. Nah, we don't want to shoot anyone to your record. We want to dance. Well, you can do that, too. Shoot at their feet and watch them dance. Wow. Hey, can you say woo? Woo. Woo. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Woo. 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 Okay, Aunt Jemima, just roll me onto the stage in this trash can. I'm standing in a trash can. Think about you.
just can. And now a special treat. Here's some stuff that Gentleman John Battle shot down in Texas, starting out with Frump, the old mom punk band. Let's watch. Bringing it home, it's another band from Texas, and check it out, you might see a special guest, our own gentleman John Battles, with Clogs. Yeah. 